because we have quite a number of matches that are on the cards. The different teams will try as much as possible to see exactly what they will be able to bring on the fry this uh, time out. Uh, Posa Rangers, they have uh, that uh, important tie against uh, Chamberlain Sugar. And when you think about uh, Chamberlain Sugar and uh, this uh, side and what exactly they have uh, to bring on the table, it's all about the Sugar Belt uh, side that have been struggling for quite a number of times. But this time round, they're saying they will try as much as possible to see if they will be able to get a victory. Tasca, they sit on the top of that uh, log and they're saying they're comfortable there. Maybe they want to win it this time out. Perennial underachievers, I always call them, but maybe this is their time to shine. Against the KCB, who will be playing at their own backyard. Some All-Stars, they will be playing against Karyobangi Sharks. For Karyobangi Sharks, not the best of seasons this time out, but they will try as much as possible to see if they will have what it takes to be able to win their tie this time out. Position 15, not the best of position for them at this particular time. Other matches, because we have quite a number of matches, or even on Sunday, Sony Sugar will be playing against Matari United. Zuccaricho also has an important tie against Anzoia Sugar, while... Kakamega homeboys will try as much as possible to see if they will be able to get maximum points against Western's team. Ulinzi Stars, on their side, they are the soldiers. Will they be matching against the Bandari? We hope they will have what it takes to get the four points. They've been able to win the Kenyan Premier League four times, but it has remained to be four for quite a number of uh, days. Bandari will be in action against uh, Ulinzi Stars. A lot of talks about Bandari and their tactician. Will he go the younger way or will he remain to be their tactician? We will know that after some little time. Gurmaya against the FC Leopards. Remember, this is a tie that will be broadcasted live on KTN News, so make sure you do tune because it will be a cracker of a tie. But FC Leopards, they are waiting to win against the Gormaya for quite a number of times. The last time they won, it was in 2016. Remember that 80th minute goal that Diallo was able to notch it in? Will the Leopards break that curse of losing in that derby? You never really can tell. But remember, all these two teams they are really struggling. Financial crisis is a big hurdle. And it has affected Gormaya because for quite a number of times, their players have been missing training. Remember, they lost their first time against Madari United in their last outing. So maybe they will have what it takes to be able to bounce back. A derby is always an important and big tie. So for Paka, they are up against Wazito. Also, a crucial tie. We will wait to see what exactly will transpire and who exactly will be able to to win which a tie. Let's talk about the standings because when you're looking at the standings, all these teams, they will try as much as possible to see what exactly will happen. But who tops the log? It is all about a Tasca FC. For Tasca FC, they are on the summit of the Kenyan Premier League log and for them comfortable with the 16 points. They have been able to play eight games. Gormaya sits second, but for Gormaya, they've played uh, two games less. So for Gormaya, two games less. So that tells you a lot is expected from this Gormaya side. FC Leopards, on the other side, they sit on the third position on this Kenyan Premier League log. So for Leopards, it might change because they have that important derby against a Gormaya tomorrow. And a winner of that might be able to move on top of the log if Tasca on the other side will lose their tie. Not that easy. For KCB, they are on the fourth position. At least they're saying they have the finances, they are the tactician, and now it seems like they're having the positive results. But they've been able to play seven games. They have 14 points, and anything can be possible when you think about that. That is about the top of five on the Kenyan Premier League log, and there is a lot of expectation there as Kakamega Homeboys closes the best of five in the Kenyan Premier League. Thinking about the other teams that have been struggling, the five bottom sides on the Kenyan Premier League. It's all about uh, Chemil Sugar. They have been uh, they have been receiving it this time out. They almost uh, got to uh, not feature into another fixture and maybe they would have been relegated because we're talking about missing three matches in the Kenyan Premier League. You get uh, that uh, relegation scare for Sony also. So it tells you that the Sugar Belt a big reality. They're not uh, doing good in regards to the finances. Karibangi Sharks, as I had mentioned earlier, not the best of seasons for them this time out. But remember, they have the players, they have the tactician, they have the money, one will argue. So the results also need to come in the Karibangi Sharks way.